Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play your Nintendo 3DS games on your computer at much higher resolutions. So firstly, you need to go to citra-emu.org. Citra is the name of the Nintendo 3DS emulator we'll be using. So once you're on the page, you need to go to the download button. And then here you'll see this giant orange button. So on my system it says download for Windows X64. So the website should automatically detect which system you're using. But if it doesn't, just go here and click on other platforms and then you can choose whichever one works for you. So I'm going to click on download for Windows X64. Once the file has finished downloading, you need to open it. And once you've opened it, you'll see this screen. Click on next. The next screen shows the installation folder. You can choose to leave it as it is, or you can change it if you want to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Go to next. You can choose between two versions of Citra. One is Citra Canary and the other is Citra Nightly. So in a nutshell, oversimplifying the difference, Citra Nightly is kind of like the official release version and Citra Canary kind of has more of the latest features, but can sometimes be a little unstable. In this case, I'm just going to choose Citra Nightly go to next and then accept the licensing agreement go to next and next again and install and then click finish now that you've installed Citra just go to the start menu and open it excellent so now that Citra is open we have a few options we can tweak so firstly let's go to emulation and configure and the first thing we probably want to configure are the controls. I should have mentioned before we started this process to make sure that your control pad is connected to your computer before you launch Citra. And now all you need to do is click on one of these buttons and then decide which button on your control pad you want to assign to it. And then just repeat the process for all of them. Here's a quick look at the configuration I use with my Xbox controller. And then once that's done, just press OK and go back to emulation and configure and just go back to controls to check that the settings were saved, which they have been, perfect. And now let's go to audio and where it says output type, let's change this to QBeb. And down here, you can also choose which microphone on your computer you want to use. So I've got uh, an Amazon Basics microphone that I'll be using. And that's pretty much it. Before we update any graphics, let's test out a game. Let's go to OK. Now, in order to add your games folder, just double click on this folder icon and then select the folder which has all your games. And then once that's done, you should see a list of all of your games. Now, let's try one very quickly. So let's go to New Super Mario Bros. 2 and double click on it and then just wait for it to load. And there we go. You can notice that the game is up and running. As you can tell, whilst the game runs at a good speed, you'll notice that all the kind of 3D polygon based graphics are a little pixelated. One of the cool things about Citra is we can actually clean up those graphics. And in order to do that, just go to emulation and stop and go back to emulation and configure, go to graphics. Now currently it's set at the native 3DS graphics, which is 400 by 240. Now we can use this to upgrade the graphics. So you can actually go to like 4K, but just be careful. The Nintendo 3DS is an incredibly resource demanding system. So what I recommend is maybe just firstly try 2X native and see how your system gets on. And if you find that your system runs it with ease, you know, feel free to bump it up a bit more. So for now, I'm just gonna try 2X. And I generally just leave everything else as it is. Now let's go to OK and let's try the game again. And now you should notice that the graphics are slightly less pixelated. And if you're unhappy with the level of pixelation, you can always bump up the internal resolution some more. And you can adjust accordingly, depending on the power of your system. One last thing I wanted to show you was we can actually change the layout of the screens. So currently the top 3DS screen is taking up a large proportion of the display, whilst the bottom one is kind of hidden away in the corner. So if we just go to view, and screen layout. So currently it's set to large screen, but we can actually change this. So let's try all of them. Let's go to default. And this looks like a more traditional 3DS display. Let's go to single screen and you can do away with the bottom screen entirely and side by side, which gives you identical vertical resolution. Or you could try something totally different, which is separate windows. And this will actually put both of the screens in their own application windows. Mm -hmm. 